Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I am here with you today to talk to you about how much should a Yorkie eat daily. So, so many of you have been coming to me and you've been asking me how much you should be feeding your Yorkies. And the first thing that I'm going to tell you is it depends. So it depends on how old your Yorkie is. Are you feeding your dog fresh food? Are you feeding your dog kibble? Just like if you were comparing potato chips to apple slices, you're not going to feed the same amount because the caloric density is different. So I'm going to give you an overview and I'm going to tell you exactly why the amount that you'll be feeding your Yorkshire Terrier depends. So first and foremost, the most important thing that you're going to be doing is finding a food that your Yorkie puppy enjoys. So if your Yorkie isn't eating consistently, you could have trouble with hypoglycemia, you may not have as beautiful and shiny of a coat, and your dog will not be as healthy as it needs to be. So it's really important to find a great food. So the food, a lot of you guys are asking me about what I feed my Yorkshire Terriers, and this is called Just Food for Dogs. Now, this is a frozen block of food, and when I get the food, I actually let it defrost in the freezer, or I'm sorry, I let it defrost in the refrigerator, and then I put it into a glass bowl so that it's not absorbing plastic, and I actually heat it in my little convection oven very gently so that I'm not serving my dogs cold food. This might seem like a lot of extra work, but it actually helps me to prevent pancreatitis attacks in Lola. Now, until your Yorkies are four months old, you should not be taking their food away. So they should constantly have a source of food that is out. Now, in my puppy's case, that always meant that when my Yorkies were puppies, I fed them dry food because if I had just food for dogs out, it could spoil. If you prefer to feed something fresh like Just Food for Dogs, you could feed it four times a day and just make sure not to leave out wet food because just the way that people can get sick from food spoiling, your dogs can get sick from it as well, so you don't want to leave it out. For the first three or four months, your dog is going to need a lot of food. You have to remember that puppies are growing and they're active and you need to give them enough food so that they can grow and form as a stronger puppy. Now I don't have a puppy right now, but I do have a kitten and this is Simba. So Simba is a Siberian and I know he's not a Yorkie and I'm sure you guys are disappointed by that, but Simba's a kitten and right now he's about 5.2 pounds. He's probably going to be about 17 pounds. So Simba needs extra calories, extra food, and he needs to have food available all the time. The same thing is going to be true for your Yorkie puppy. And he is practicing wearing a harness and he's getting, he's getting used to it so we can start taking some walks outside. We will see how that goes. I'm going to walk him with Lola. Okay, so adult Yorkshire Terriers need to maintain their weight with their food. So what I like to do is I actually weigh my dogs. I don't weigh them all the time. I either weigh them or I just get a sense of how much they should weigh and when they look the healthiest. And then I have a base amount of food that I start with and that is the amount of food that the pet food company tells me to feed them. So I did the feeding calculator on just food for dogs and that pertains to their dog food only and it told me that Lola should be eating for her age, activity level, and her current weight to maintain it, she should be eating seven eighths of a cup of food. So I don't have a measuring cup that is seven eighths, but this would be, of course, one cup, which would be eight eighths. So it's just a tiny bit more than Lola should be eating per day. So if I were feeding Lola from this, she would get about a half a cup of food per serving. Now, if I were to find that she was losing weight on that amount, I would just increase it a little bit. If she's gaining weight on that amount, then I would decrease it a little bit. Just remember that if you are figuring out the calories that your dog needs, you do need to figure in what they are eating for treats. So just in case you guys wanted to see, this is my little Lola, and this is the measuring cup of food that she should be eating once a day total. That could vary a little bit, and if she was a little bit more hungry, I would not be against giving her more food, but it's a general rule of thumb. So one, just under one cup of food for Lola a day is the equivalent of 162 calories. She is between four and a half and five pounds. I would say four and a half pounds, but there was no four and a half pound choice on the feeding calculator. And that was the weight that it gave me for a five pound dog. 
So I hope that this helps you and I hope that you're enjoying my videos on how to take care of your Yorkshire Terrier and Yorkshire Terrier 101 information. I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also please read <laughs> And also, please feel free to comment below and let me know, are you having any concerns with feeding your Yorkie? Is your Yorkie overweight or underweight? I'm dying to hear from you guys and I hope this video was helpful. Basically, you need to do a little bit of research to find out exactly how much your Yorkie needs to eat, but puppies need to either have food out all the time for them or to eat four times a day. And adult dogs need to eat at least two times a day. If your dog has pancreatitis or is under four pounds, you're going to want to consider feeding it three times a day because you will keep their blood sugar stable and they will not get hypoglycemic. So it was great to see you guys. Stay healthy and stay beautiful and I look forward to talking to you guys soon.